on the road again, driving at yeah, 120 kilometers per hour on the German highway for several hours and heavily loaded, like always. What's happening? <laughs> We're heading to the Netherlands to PSP Expedition Campus. Last year we went over there to install the copper roof and we're going over there again to install two water tanks on the chassis. So we are very excited to go there but it's a long road so we left home last night, drove for about four hours, arrived in Germany, stopped to free camp somewhere out of the highway and we are back on the road today. We should arrive in about two hours. So, yeah, looking forward to showing you all this. So it's two custom-made um, stainless steel water tanks and he will do all the installation. Paul will do all the installation and we will be there to help him and show you all the process. After hours of driving, we are finally at PSP Expedition Campus. So we already saw the two tanks. His Paul is going to finish them and then we're going to help him install everything. <laughs>
that was an intense work, right? Three days of work in the Netherlands, plus driving 900 kilometers, going there, driving back home 900 kilometers, almost five days for the installation of these really cool custom-made water tanks. We will use them as water tanks, but I think you could also use them as fuel tanks. Now, PSP Expedition Campers. As said earlier, we already went there last year to install the really cool pop-up roof and we are so happy with our pop-up roof. This was one of the best decisions that we've made regarding all the camper setup of our Land Rover Defender. With our previous setup, we did have a water system and a water tank installed in the interior of our wooden layout. It was 60 liters plastic water tank. I think it was from Front Runner. Did we have a front runner water tank? Yes. yes that was correct. <laughs> and we have a, we had a water system going on but no filtration. So with this brand new camper setup with like the killer electrical setup, the amazing pop-up roof, all the self-built interior setup, we needed a really nice water system and this is what my husband is starting now so obviously the first thing to have was the water tank and we decided we wanted to have two water tanks because we think that water is really important when you are out there off grid and with the 60 liter water tank it was kind of okay but we were mainly using the water to wash our dishes a few times uh, for taking a shower and all that but it wasn't like a full, full time on the road use so we wanted to have more water capacity and the fact that these two water tanks are fixed on the chassis. It means that it lowers down the weight and we are really happy with that. As first impression, we did drive back home the 900 kilometers with both of these tanks filled up with water. My husband didn't feel any significant difference compared to our previous setup when we had the water tank inside of the setup and also compared to the setup without these two tanks. He thinks that this is due to the fact that both tanks are placed here on the chassis and that as they take up all the length be between the tires, it may, might help with the balance of the weight while driving. Obviously there are some baffles in there and how they are made. We don't have this feeling uh, when accelerating, speeding up, that you feel the water is moving or when pushing on the brakes. There's no weird feeling while driving. So this is like a really good point. Now PSP Expedition Campers. Paul. <laughs> It's a small company, he's working alone and does all the design and does have some help when needed. And he was kind enough to let us help during all these three days of work. Same when we went last year for installing the pop-up roof and being in his workshop and seeing how he works and all the important details uh, that he puts in like the manufacturing and the installation, all the fixations. It's really nice and we are really confident that these two water tanks are perfectly well made for our 110 and that they will withstand also like off-roading and being out there with the Defender and like an intense use. They are really well, well fixed and when uh, we were putting up everything and my husband helping with preparing the underneath of the car for installing these two tanks, 
we did realize even more that he did it in a way that it's it's not a plug and play product but kind of like you don't need to drill in the chassis to do the fixation everything is well thought so that was like really nice being there and seeing all that also the advantage of being over there while the installation was made is that if my husband needs to remove them for whatever reason he knows how everything is done and that is a real advantage because you know it when you're out there and something goes wrong when you have to do it for the first time without knowing how everything is fixed it's a real pain so there we go but i think we're not going to remove them Huh? No, <laughs> never. <laughs> They're gonna stay under there. I don't remember the exact capacity of these two tanks, but the left side is a bit smaller and is more than 50 liters. And on the right side, we have more than 60 liters capacity in the water tank. So that will be really useful when out there. And I have no idea how long we will be able to stay out there. What's next? Because tanks are fixed, they are filled up with water, but we don't have any water system for the moment. So this is this week's job, well, starting the job, because what will happen is that we are planning, and this is like a crazy job, my husband is going to install a hot water system so we will be able to have a hot shower and hot water for washing the dishes and also all the filtration systems so we will be able to have drinkable water so there you go now you know what's next and we're gonna obviously share all this with you and looking forward to know what you think about all this work so leave a comment below and i'll see you in the next one bye